Thank you for joining us for today's webinar, MAPE's MAPAGARD UM35, Reshaping the Industry. Before we start, we have some brief housekeeping. Your phones are on mute. If you have any questions, please type them into the Q&A box in the corner of your screen, and we'll answer them at the end of today's session, time permitting, or via an email after. And you can always send your questions to Digital at mapay.com. We also invite you to visit our product page online where you'll find videos, brochures, and links to information about our complete family of membranes, all of which are overseen by today's speaker, Sonia Masti. Sonia has been launching products for more than 20 years. Her career in manufacturing began in plastics, where she launched several lines of food service packaging products for Dart Container Corporation. She began working at MAPE in 2015 and led the resurgence of North American Adhesives brand. Today, Sonia is the product manager of crack isolation, sound reduction, and floor heating membranes. And we're excited to discuss our newest membrane. So without further delay, Sonia, the floor is yours. Thank you, Jen, and good afternoon, everyone. Appreciate you're here and uh, learning about some of our new products. Today, I'm going to talk about MapaGuard UM35, which is a new uncoupling membrane. We do offer the pay um, other uncoupling membranes and crack isolation membranes, but this is the newest, um, the newest membrane that I'm going to be talking about today. So, what are some of the benefits of MapaGuard UM35? Uh, at first, it offers crack isolation up to one eighth inch. It also can serve as a waterproofing membrane and for vapor management up to 25 pounds MBER and 100% relative humidity. It has a low profile at one eighth inch. So this is great if you're going over um, tile over tile and you don't want a lot of um, uh, height to your installation. There's a mechanical bond um, feature to it. It's lightweight, very easy to it's, it, it's in a roll and you can just carry it upstairs or carry it around. It does hold a chalk line. Not all uncoupling membranes on the market hold a chalk line. Um, and so ours does hold a chalk line and it is very easy to trowel over. I'm gonna talk about that in a little bit. Some of the industry ratings, um, ASTM C627, Robinson rating, it received an extra heavy rating. So it is an extremely strong, durable, excellent compression strength product. Um, it also um, meets or exceeds ANSI A118.10 for waterproofing, and it meets or exceeds ANSI A118.12 for crack isolation. So it has it has very good compression strength. Um, so this picture shows a tire over the um, flooring installation. So if, if, if you have a solid foundation and you have the proper finished flooring, this product, um, you can drive a car over it. So this would be a great product for car showrooms, um, malls, hospitals, hotels, that kind of thing. Um, great compression strength. Some of the common substrates that it can go over, um, it can go over old tile primed with Mapei's EcoPrim grip. It can go over a single layer plywood or OSB up to 19.2 inches on center. And it can go over young or green concrete. So product application. <clears throat> um, first thing you'd wanna do is inspect the subfloor before installing MapaGuard UM35 to ensure that the substrate is acceptable for tile or stone installation. You'll always want to pre-cut and dry fit the membrane in place. Then you'd mix a suitable mortar for the substrate. The consistency, you'd want it on the higher end of the recommended water range. And the mortar should be able to hold a notched ridge um, while allowing for wetting out the fleece layer backing of the MapaGuard UM35. And the mortar should meet ANSI 118.14, ANSI 118.11, or ANSI 118.15, or it should be classified as ISO 13007 C2E or better. And for fast track installations, you'll want to use a rapid setting MAPE mortar. 
And if installing over a wood substrate, you'll definitely want to make sure you're using a mortar that meets ANSI 118.11. So with pressure, you would apply a coat of mortar by using the trowel's flat side to key the mortar into the substrate. And then additional, you'd apply additional mortar, combing it in a single direction using a quarter inch by three sixteenth inch V-notch trowel. And the cover coverage may vary as a result of the mortar consistency, your trowel angle, the floor flatness, substrate absorption, et cetera. So if you don't get full coverage, um, it may be necessary to use a quarter inch by quarter inch by quarter inch square notch trowel. And you'll see the image on the left, you'll want to pick up the membrane occasionally and check to make sure that you're getting the proper coverage. You'll want to spread only as much mortar as can be covered with the membrane before the mortar skins over. And just for noting, open times may vary with job site conditions and the mortar choice. And then once you lay the membrane down into the wet mortar, um, you want to do it while it's still wet with the fabric side down, obviously, and then use a rubber or wooden float or hand roller to um, make sure that the membrane is embedded nicely into that met, wet uh, mortar. And while laying the rolls of the membrane, it's recommended that you leave a three to five millimeter gap between the sheets. And to ensure a flat surface, do not overlap edges or ends from one roll onto another. And you'd also want to leave about a quarter inch between the membrane and the edge of walls, columns, et cetera, for movement. So that's pretty much how you would lay the membrane down and then the mortar on top. Um, you would pick the mortar based on the kind of finished floor that you're putting on top of the size or, or uh, weight of the tile. This also can serve as a waterproofing membrane. And if you do use it for waterproofing, you would need to address the seams. So MAPE offers a product called MAPAGARD WPST. It's a sealing tape and we offer it in tapes. Uh, we offer it as a tape and it also as corners. And you would apply mortar to the seam and then roll the seam tape into the wet mortar. And then you would apply mortar again on top of the seam on top of the tape. And that's how you would waterproof the seams. Setting the tile, I had already mentioned, but these are the, um, the, the types of standards that the mortar should meet. So ANSI 118.4, 118.11, or 118.15 will be classified as ISO 13007 C2E or better. Um, we offer rapid setting mortars here at MAPE. And if it's going over a wood substrate, it needs to meet 118.11. So this is kind of this is an image of the built-in mechanical anchors. So if you're looking at the, the membrane, it, not from the top, but imagine that you sliced it and you're looking at it from the side. This is a, a blown, blown up image of the built-in mechanical anchors that are inside the cell. And what happens is when the wet mortar goes, when you trowel into the cells, the wet mortar goes under these anchors and when it dries, the entire thing locks together. And the roll specs are, it offers coverage of 323 square feet for the roll. Dimensions are three feet, three inches by 98 feet, four inches. The roll weight, 41 pounds, and the thickness is one eighth inch thick. So I do want to talk briefly about another membrane that we offer here at MAPE called MAPAGARD UM. We've had MAPAGARD UM on the market for many years now, and it's been an excellent product for us here at MAPE. And MAPAGARD UM 35 is the newer edition. And we often get questions, you know, what's the difference and why would, why would somebody use one versus the other? So I do want to point out some of the differences. Uh, MAPAGARD UM, um, it's shown in the bottom right corner, and that you can see is a green membrane versus MapaGuard UM35 is blue. So from visually, you can tell the difference. MapaGuard UM is made in Europe, while MapaGuard UM35 is made in the USA. MapaGuard UM is made with three layers of construction versus MapaGuard UM35 is two layers of construction. 
Mapaguard UM is a more premium product and it can go up to on a wood floor or wood, um, wood floor on a second level up to 24 inches on center versus Mapaguard UM35, its limit is 19.2 inches on center. With Mapaguard UM, you can apply self leveling underlayment over top the membrane, which this opens the door then for the use of mosaic tiles. LVT, LVP, engineered wood, and additional finished flooring. Whereas with MapaGuard UM35, uh, we do not recommend SLU on top. So you would be limited to tile or stone as a finished floor. With MapaGuard UM, it can, it's recommended for interior or exterior. And with MapaGuard UM35, it's recommended just for interiors. MapaGuard UM is more rigid and MapaGuard UM35 is rigid, but not as rigid as MapaGuard UM. And lastly, MapaGuard UM has superior smooth troweling. When you, there's a mesh, that third layer, that mesh, the mortar is very smooth and, and, and applied and goes into the, um, into the grooves. Now MapaGuard UM35 also offers excellent troweling and the circular design of the cells prevents air, air pockets from, um, from forming when you're troweling. So you can apply your trowel very fast and smooth, and it's very easy to trowel over with no trapped air. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show a video of MapaGuard UM35, and then we'll open it to questions. Let me just run down here. The guard UM35 is easy to install on tile over tile, plywood, and concrete surfaces. It lays flat and won't curl, making handling easy. The surface holds chalk lines and it's semi opaque, so no guessing at coverage. It isolates cracks and acts as a vapor barrier. Smooth installations and optimal wet outs. The cells fill with mortar, not air. This means less time and effort to get the job done. Mapay's MapaGuard UM35, reshaping the industry. And with that, I open it to questions. Okay, let's see. So our first question is asking about self-levelers. Can they be used over UM35? Uh, no, we do not recommend SLU over UM35. Um, and if you do want to use an SLU, we would recommend that you use MapaGuard UM instead. Yeah, it's that comparison chart. Okay. Um, how would you install a shower drain with MapaGuard UM35? Oh, wow. So um, we do not recommend MapaGuard UM35 in showers. Um, we offer a different product called MapaGuard WP200, and we would recommend that that product be used when you need to, um, when, when you're using it in a shower. Um, the drain is the portion of a, shower installation that could possibly leak. And from a technical services standpoint, our choice is to use WP200. There's just less risk for all involved. So we do not recommend MapaGuard UM35 in showers. Okay. Um, can MapaGuard UM be used with floor heating systems? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. And we would recommend that the membrane would go down first and the floor heating system would go on top of the membrane instead of vice versa, because you want your floor heating system, you want the tile to be as close as possible to the heating elements. So you wouldn't want to have the membrane in between the heating element and the tile. So therefore, we would recommend that the MapaGuard UM35 you know, membrane be first and then you would add the, the heating on top of it. 
Gotcha. Okay. Um, would UM35 be part of a full lifetime system warranty? Yes, absolutely. And MAPEI um, has an excellent lifetime system warranty program, and this product would apply to our lifetime system warranty. Okay. Let's see. Um, oh, here's another one. How would you waterproof around the edges of walls? So you would use the MAPA, MAPA Guard WP ST seam tape, and you would apply the mortar around the walls, and you would take your seam tape and you would fold it in half, and you would have it, you would tuck it into the wall and you would want at least two inches up the wall and two inches on the floor and tuck that into the wet mortar and then apply mortar on top of the seam tape and um, make sure you use corners and, and do the same thing with the corners and that's how you would waterproof the edges of walls. So it's the sealing tape that makes it a waterproof system? Yes, you absolutely need to use the WPST sealing tape. Cool, cool. Okay. Um, all right. Let's give it a few more minutes. And um, let's see. I want to thank you, Sonia, for a really great presentation answering all these questions because I know it gets a little confusing between UM and UM35. And we want to thank everybody for their time today. Um, we know the days are so busy and the fact that you spent some time with us is very important and we really appreciate it uh let's see if there are any more questions that come in all right well if you're like me the second this thing stops i think of 12 more questions so if that happens you can always send questions to us here at uh, mape digital at mape.com and uh, we'll be sure to get them over to sonia and um again Thank you, Sonia. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. And I guess we'll just uh, go ahead and conclude today's webinar. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.